This is Twit. Usually on Before You Buy, we show you products you can buy, but this is really before you buy, before you can buy, but I thought a very interesting technology. We've got Paul Yost here. He's chief uh, of R&D at a company called uh, YEI Technology. Hi, Paul. Nice to see Hi. you. Nice to meet you. We've seen uh, the Oculus Rift. We've seen virtual reality environments before. You came to town. You're going to go to JPL and show this to NASA. You're also going to be here for the Game Developers Conference and show this to game developers. Right. What is this technology? Uh, essentially what we have here with Prio VR is a full body motion capture suit that allows you to very accurately, very precisely and with very low latency take the motions of a player or user if it's a serious application and get them into uh, either a game or a simulation oh, to that's be used. Cool. So it's not a headset where I would see, you're going to be looking at a screen here, but it is motion capture, which is interesting. You know, I know a little about a motion capture. I was a motion capture character on MSNBC, won an Emmy for it back in 1997. And I had to wear a suit with sensors all over it. We had a silicon uh, graphics Onyx computer, million dollar computer, receiving the sensors. It broke all the time. In fact, that guy right there, Karsten <laughs> Bondi, who produced this segment, you, you rotated my hair, right, Karsten? I think that was his, he was responsible <laughs> for my hair. So. This has kind of uh, gotten into the consumer grade, basically. The point where so, you, it's affordable, is that right? Essentially what we're looking to do is take that professional quality motion capture experience and put it in the hands of everyday users so cool. they can have that kind of experience at home. So, and what it does for us is allows you to play games in a totally different way or have experiences in a totally different way than rather than being constrained by a right. game controller with a finite number of options. Essentially, you can do whatever you want in those environments. So, so Chris is the guinea pig. Hi, Chris. Are you a, are you a developer uh, at YEI, with YEI? Or? Yes, yeah. yes. So he's wearing the suit, and I see he's got sensors on his knee, sensors on his thigh. He's got a body, a chest unit, which I presume is gathering the information. Is Correct. that right? Uh, sensors on his biceps. You've got sensors on your wrists. You're holding sensors. There's even a head strap. What is that sensing? Uh, the, the head strap head is motion. sensing the head motion. And wow. one of the things, you mentioned the Oculus earlier, that we are compatible with head-mounted display systems. So you like could have an Oculus on, right. and then, wow. And when we go to do Talk the demo, immersive. when we go to the, do to the demo, we have an Oculus down there, and we're going to have you try that. Oh, it's you're a, kidding. You want to make me throw up. Is that the goal here? <laughs> that's that's our idea. Cool. That's exciting. This will be a first. Um, how much are we talking, though? I mean, you know, the, as I said, when I was dev null, it cost more than a million dollars to do it. Okay, the, we have a Kickstarter underway right now. Our price point for the suit that Chris is wearing now is at $349. Wow. So, so essentially we're providing this professional motion capture experience at wow. $349. And we have one step above this in performance as well uh, that adds to the shoulder articulation, foot articulation for essentially a professional quality mocap rig. And that is under $400. That's $399. That, for a controller, for a gamer, especially a controller of this complexity, that's a completely reasonable price. That's not out, outrageous at all, $350 or even $400. Um, are, are there any, is there an API, an SDK? Are there games that work with this? How does it work? Uh, essentially what we're doing on the software side of things is we're providing a set of sample games with it that will be released with the Much like the Oculus Rift. Exactly. Okay. And we're also doing a lot of work on the back end to make it as easy as possible for developers to use this in their uh, development process. So we have an API, we have a pre-compiled DLL, we have an SDK. So essentially no matter whether you're an indie developer or using one of the major engines like uh, Unity or uh, UDK or uh, CryEngine, we're making it as easy as we possibly can to get our systems data into those in an effective way. So if it works with those engines, it sounds like it would work on both PCs and consoles because Unity and, Cry and CryEngine are used on consoles too, right? Um, our, our goal is to, we're starting with a PC with a Kickstarter. Our uh -huh. goal is to move into the console uh, uh, market or arena shortly after that. Um, there's a little more to do since we're actually a hardware peripheral to get into the console Got spaces. But this doesn't show up as a console controller. Uh, or does it? it? It potentially could, but that's something that we have to right. navigate going forward. How much smarts is there? Is there a CPU in this chest case? Um, interestingly, there's actually a high-performance microcontroller in every one of the sensors oh, and wow. another one in the chest. So all of the computation, all of the difficult heavy lifting of computing the pose of the player is done on the suit itself, which frees the host from having to do any processing other than communication. That's one big change from when I did it. We had to have a million-dollar computer because you couldn't have the sensors have that much smarts, but now 
with microprocessor technology. Right. What kind of microprocessors are you using? Um, these are all 32-bit uh, RISC architecture. Uh, it's actually a combination. There's a different architecture. Are they use, ARM, ARM these, processors? These are ARM processors, which uh -huh. is kind of a, a pun, I guess, because they're... You know, <laughs> Arms on your there. arm! But, uh, and this is a uh, another... Uh, uh, the, the, and this is a prototype, so the one we're using in here isn't the final one, but that's right. actually a 32-bit AVR uh, with a floating point unit on the one okay. in the chest. So. And the operating system? Um, the operating system here, there's actually bare to the metal, actually no operating system on this at all. It's all, it's, to, to, in order to optimize it, we wrote the code directly. It's all in hardware. It's all in hardware. So this is great. So this is a game you wrote to demonstrate it, right? Correct. Is this what you're going to show NASA? Uh, this this is what we're uh, showing to them, and this is also Good. what we're going to be showing I at GDC. I think we, we need to be ready for the zombie apocalypse. Even the NASA needs to prepare, the JPL needs to prepare. So you're so he's aiming and shooting with his hands. It's kind of like a Nintendo Wii, right? A little bit, except with, with our system, rather than having like the light bar at the top that you know says no no optics There's no here sensors at all. Here. There's no yeah. sensors here at all. It's all in the suit itself. So the Sony Move or the Wii both requires to connect requires sensors there, which essentially has this limiting factor on the capture Ow. space you He's can have. He's pointing it right at me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is good. So you can move anywhere in the living room, and uh, you don't have to move furniture out of the way. It doesn't matter. And he squats, and uh, he's he's crouching. So this is this is going to be some exercise for some uh, some gamers. This is fun. You know, the whole idea of, of gaming is to get it more immersive. That's why right. the Rift is people so excited with the Rift. But the Rift by itself is is just you know I can move my head around, right? Right. So the idea of having a mocap suit that that gives you complete mobility. With the nine points you've got, or the more points on the on the bigger machine, are you able to kind of how much of the motion can you capture? It looks pretty, like he's pretty much leaning essentially anything. So he can lean around trees, he can take cover, he could actually lie on the ground in the grass, prone and shoot. <laughs> pretty much whatever you want to do, it'll, wow. it'll track. That is pretty cool. And so, uh, interestingly, even again getting away from that constraint of the controller you can do anything you want so if you right. if you're running away from somebody and want to shoot behind you you can actually point the gun back over your shoulder and shoot uh, you could shoot uh, under the leg behind the back pretty much anything that you and there to. he sw swings a bat um, and so it's just mo moving his arm in a very natural motion kind of like the connect the Wii or the or the move but uh, but but without any sensors, which is right. which is really great. Is there anything else you want to show us uh, with this? I want to get you in the suit and get you. You're going to get Oculus. me in it. Oh my God! All right, we'll get you in the Oculus demo, and you can actually <laughs> look down and see your hands and fight some zombies. That sounds really nauseating. Okay, <laughs> I mean really. There's a zombie, zombie behind you. What? Oh, hey. <laughs> this is fun. It's never been so easy to kill zombies. Mm -hmm. And you can also, uh, if they get too close, you can actually. Uh, pistol or rifle with Can them. Can I melee them? Yes, you can. How do I melee them? You swing your arms. Just hit them, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> your right. if, if you want, we could switch you to a baseball bat, which is a lot of fun too. Yeah, yeah. So that we weapon is this thing? This yeah, button? Yeah, so push that button and then you push the stick to the left. Oh, there we oh. go. So there you go. Oh. oh, there's one behind you. Oh, I could tell. Hey, where? Oh. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. There is a little dev null coming out of this. What is that, a helicopter? Boom! Boom! Bitty, 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 bitty. I can't get around the fence. I guess I have to go around. Hey, let's come over here. Come here. <laughs> hey, are you dead? <sighs> Is that guy a good guy or a bad guy? He, he's there to rescue you, but you can take, I don't you can need take rescue. it down if you want to. I can? Yes, if you switch back to the one of the guns or the I can't tell you, launcher. this is a lot of fun. And you know, because it's immersive, it's really a much more realistic uh, experience. And one of the problems I have with... Uh, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try a different... Uh, yeah. So I can shoot the, uh, all right. Where's that helicopter? Hey, oh, hey. Hey, sneak up on him, man. Hey, helicopter, hey, hey. Hey, did you see that there? That's my laser. Oh, there's uh, a zombie getting you. What? No, oh, stop it. Where are you? What are you doing down there? <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Oh, this isn't like a rocket gun. I need a better gun. That? That's the one? All right. Where is he? Hi, where is he? I know this is really not right, but... Uh, so I have to aim this, huh? And that one, that one you have to aim. <laughs> <laughs> ha! 
That one you have to aim high because it actually yeah, grenades yeah. that it, will. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's real. Through. Yeah. Oops. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really, really fun. All right. Pros. Uh, it's affordable. It it works great. It's a really great gaming experience. It's making me squeezy, but uh, I guess that's something you get used to, right? Um, the price is right. Cons, you know, they're, you need games, and as soon as you get game developers working with this thing, I think this is going to be just huge. I am getting a little nausea, so I'm just going <laughs> to take my head off right now. That is a lot of fun. Wouldn't you love to do this, Michael? Wow. It's very realistic. You really feel like, even at 720p, you really feel like you're in. I'm, that's why I'm getting queasy. Really nice. Thank, Thank you. you, Paul. I appreciate it. Uh, very exciting. If you want to uh, participate in the Kickstarter, they're still doing it. P-R-I-O-V-R. -R, just search for that on a Kickstarter. Correct. 350 bucks for the basic unit. Is that, are you selling the $400 unit on the Kickstarter? Yes, well? that's on the Kickstarter. Well, and it has and, more sensors. And we have a third uh, tier that's the unit you're wearing now for people who are lazy and just want to sit on their couch. That We have one that's at $279 <laughs> for the one. I like the, the couch. No knees, right? Couch potato version. But you'd want to move around a little bit. That is awesome. Thank you very much. What a great demo. Thank you, Chris. Oh, yeah. Get me out of this thing before I barf. <laughs>